G'day guys and welcome to another set of Cisco questions and today I'll be back up in remote management so a bit of TFTP server we'll certainly get involved with that um, got plenty of other Cisco videos as well if you guys are keen on that uh, check out the other videos as mentioned um, so we're getting stuck into it today we've got uh, which of the following connectionless application layer protocols is used to transfer Cisco iOS images and configuration files to a backup location so you've got TFTP, FTP, Telnet, and SSH. Well, going by what I just said before, TFTP is the answer. 201, your coworker would like to back up the router configuration to a TFTP server. What command would you use to back up your running configuration to a TFTP server? So the syntax in these answers is very important. Uh, we've got backup running config TFTP, copy rerunning config TFTP. Backup TFTP running config, copy TFTP running config. Uh, if we have a look at what we're after, what command would you use to back up your running configuration to the TFTP server? It's not backup, so we can eliminate those two. So we've got B and D, uh, copy running config TFTP. So if we look at the uh, syntax here, copy basically means backup, and then you have what you want to back up, and then where you want to back it up to. So we want to copy the running configuration to the TFTP server which means the answer will be B copy running config TFTP 202 a few weeks ago you backed up your router configuration to a TFTP and now you wish to restore the configuration back to your router what command would you use got a little screenshot here which I don't think really means anything and it's cutting across on this one that's interesting uh, so we've got backup running config TFTP, rather than just reading all these out, I might just point out to how to solve it. Uh, wish to restore the configuration back to your router. So it's not backup as we know, so that eliminates those two. Um, we're copying it from the TFTP server, so copy TFTP running config will restore the configuration back to the router. So that'll be D. 203, Susan types a preceding command on her company router. What is the command's purpose? I think this refers back to this question here, your co-worker. So it's kind of convoluted. You can pause it there if you need to refer to it. And back to Susan. Oop. <laughs> so, yep, Susan types a preceding command on her company router. What is the command's purpose? To back up the iOS image to a server, to back up the router configuration, running configuration to the server, to back up the router startup configuration to the server, to back up the routing table to the server. It's not the last one. <laughs> so then puts us for these ones. Um, that initial command there was doing A to back up the iOS to a server. 204. Which of the following commands associations are true? Select two. So we've got to pick two. Restore the config and we'll just have a look through these here uh, restore the config copy running config tftp that's being back up to a tftp server so that's not restoring config back up backing up the ios copy tftp flash potentially replace the ios copy tftp flash so that means whatever config is on there will go into flash so that will replace what the ios is since ios is stored in flash so C is one of the answers. Uh, replace the iOS copy flash TFTP. The iOS doesn't uh, start from the TFTP, so that's not going to replace the iOS. And back up the iOS copy flash TFTP. So that's another another one as well. Um, copy flash TFTP because that's backing up uh, the iOS, which is stored in flash as mentioned. So answer C and E. 205 in the figure below, what is the purpose of address 192.168.1.3? And if we have a look at the command here, copy running config TFTP. So we're copying the iOS to the TFTP server. And address or name of remote host is a big giveaway here. And then it's got the address there. So if we have a look through our answers here, it is the address of the TFTP server to copy the running configuration to. So the answer is C. The last one was close, but I believe it was the other way around. 206, which of the following commands allows you to view the file name of your iOS? So this is simply a rote learning question. It is show flash. 
207, what happens if you are copying a new iOS image to flash memory and there is not enough available space due to the space used by your existing iOS file? Again, one of, those, one of those questions where you just have to sort of be aware of what it is and then just remember it and hopefully come exam time you know what's going on. Uh, the old iOS file is deleted to make room, copy operation fails, copy operation succeeds but with no data in the file. The old file is renamed, so there's a few possible combinations here as it looks. Um, it does A, delete to make room, the old one. 208, you are looking to create a backup copy of your Cisco iOS to a TFTP server. What command would you use? Backup flash TFTP copy iOS TFTP, backup TFTP flash, copy flash TFTP. I've said TFTP about a million times already. Uh, creating backup copy of your iOS to a TFTP server, so it's not going to be the backup. It's going to be copy, as we've it's been pretty well documented, and it's not an iOS because Flash is essentially what iOS is. Uh, that's where it's stored. Sorry. Um, so copy Flash TFTP is the answer. What port does TFTP use? Now, if we remember from earlier, we just got a whole bunch of numbers there. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, TFTP right from the top is a connectionless protocol. TFTP is not connectionless. So it's going to be UDP, either 6921, and again, you just have to know which one it is, and remember it, and hope, just pray and <laughs> that you know the answer come exam time. 69 is the answer. 210, you have three iOS image files in flash memory. What command would you use to control which iOS is used when the router starts up? So your boot startup, startup boot system load image, and it's quite simply, this is knowing which command it is, and boot system will help you get there. 211, you are having issues with your router which currently does not have network access or an iOS. Well, that's not too helpful if you ask me. What protocol could you use to transfer an iOS image to the router? X modem, TFTP, FTP, SNMP. It's not the three bottom ones. Uh, with X modem being the answer here, X modem is a situation whereby you can type it in once you have the console port connected with the computer and then you can transfer the iOS over that way slower than what it would normally be if you're copying it from a TFTP server. 212, what command would you use to ensure that the Cisco router loads the iOS image file of C2800 uh, NMAD VIP service K, services K9 MZ.124 dash 15.t1.bin from flash memory. Didn't read that too well, but I gave it a crack. Um, so we've got boot system, boot startup, boot system, boot startup. And if we have a look here, you want it to load it from flash memory. So it's not going to be a TFTP one, so it's going to be B or C. And as I mentioned before, boot system was the command to load an image file. So it'll be boot system, flash, and all the rest of it see it being the answer and that's all folks thanks a lot for joining in today hope you really enjoyed it as i mentioned off the top plenty of other cisco videos practice questions if you want to have a bit of look at those it'd be great uh, there's my website there onlinecomputercoaching.com plenty more content on there as well and uh, we've also got a cisco resource uh, which i've got in the description below if you're keen on getting that resource it'd be really helpful for you guys going for your exam and uh holding pretty good said there so Subscribe away guys, keep, keep the content rolling, like the video, that'd be great, and I'll catch you guys all soon.